Yo, what's good? It's your boy, we back at it. New video, you know what I mean? We gonna follow through, basically, with um Venus, right? It's the glyph of Venus coming into the sign of Leo and what this means, right? Before I do that, though, I wanna thank y'all, though, for tuning in. You didn't have to do that, so I appreciate y'all. I wanna thank y'all. If you like the content, you can share it, you can like it, you can comment below your thoughts, whatever you prefer, you know? And, yeah, I give gratitude, thank you. So, um, Venus, right? Venus, off top, it rules over the signs of Taurus and Libra, right? Now, Libra is the constellation of sign that represents relationships, right? And Taurus is a sign that represents stability or security. You know what I mean? It's your money, your finances, right? When we look at what Venus actually represents, it's going to show us a similarity between the signs that it rules over. So Venus shows us in your chart your finances, your money, and also how you relate to others in your relationships, right? Now, let's, let's also talk about what else it represents. Venus in your chart is going to show how you relate to others, right? Like I just stated, it's also going to show you kind of like your love language. But I tell you guys all the time, when you're looking at a birth chart, right? When you're looking into your birth chart, you need to compare different areas basically to see how you are in these different areas in terms of what you're trying to find out, right? So you need to look at Venus again and also the seventh house because that's a Libra house that deals with relationships, right? And I can tell you about your relationships basically, right? And also any planets, if you've had any planets that are in that seventh house, that, that will tell you about your how you relate to others, um, the relationships you attract, and also... The sign that's on the cusp, that's the things you're going to look at, along with Venus, right? Now, it's also going to show us what you value and the value you can bring to the table, right? It also can show us how you make money, which we just talked about a little earlier because it rules over the sign of Taurus. But compare this with your second house, which is a Taurus house, right? The signs that are on the cusp of uh, the second house, as well as any planets there, if you have any, you want to compare these areas and I will show you how you can make money possible ways. We're going to talk about and elaborate a little more, go over some ideas basically for you guys. Now, in a man's chart, Venus is going to represent the ideal wife, right? The ideal wife archetype, right? So we're going to look at that and talk about that as well. And for my people who have nighttime charts, which I did a video, which I'll link, basically, to the, well, on the YouTube, I'll link it, basically, right? But if you have a nighttime chart, I'll show you how to find that. And basically, you look in the house that Venus is in, it can show where you have blessings, right? As well as the signs of Libra and Taurus, which is what Venus rules over, wherever you have in your chart. Wherever you have um, the signs of Taurus and Libra, in terms of the house that it's on, those are other areas you may have possible blessings, right? Um, nothing is for certain. There's a lot of factors, basically, that can, you know, talk about if somebody will have blessings or if they won't. But this is just a general theme, you know what I mean? If you were to uh, want to know if you have a nighttime chart, you need to use whole sign houses, basically, not Placidus, you know what I mean, or other systems. So yeah, let's um, go through each of these one by one. Um, let's start off in terms of how you relate to others in your love language, right? In terms of how you relate to others, uh, when we think of Leo, Leo is um, ruled by the sun, right? What is the sun? The sun represents like kind of, it's the planet that everything revolves around and the solar system, you know, solar is sun basically. So in terms of how you relate to others, you have, you know, more of a, it's kind of like a, a energy of where you want things to revolve around you. You may want to be seen and want to want to shine in your relationships. You may want to be the center of attention in your relationships, basically. Um, you like to be the star of your relationships, you know? That's how you relate to others. Love language, it could be a bit selfish at times, too. You know, but again, compare that with the seventh house and any planets that are there, too. Um, Leo, though, I will say on the positive side, is a very generous and warm type of energy. Very charismatic. Um, these could be some of the traits that you bring forth in your relationships and with others. Um, you could be a good leader if you're using it on the positive side, basically, depending on how you're vibrating in terms of polarities. Um, sometimes a Leo does have a, you know, they got a big heart, but then they can be selfish, too. So that's just one thing to be mindful of um, as well. In terms of your value, right, what you value and what you bring to the table. Now, Leo rules over the entertainment industry, as I always say, along with Pisces, but it rules over the entertainment industry. So a lot of people who have prominent Leo placements um, can be actors, entertainers. So this could be actually what you value, you know, being, again, being seen, being in the spotlight, um, getting attention of some sort. The house that it's in, that your Venus through Leo is in, will actually show you where you value being seen at, basically, right? Um, I did a video, which I'll link again on the YouTube as well, where I told you about the houses, and you could basically just look at the houses, and it's going to say 
keywords for Venus is value and love. So you would either value or love to be seen or we could say recognize to get attention in the house that it's at, right? The energy which you could bring to the table, star type potential basically. Um, a lot of you guys can be seen as an individual too. Yeah, you know, that's just how I look at it. Um, possible ways you can make money, right? Um, I told you your rules over the entertainment industry. So again, acting, singing, um, dancing, any form of poetry, any anything that involves creativity and self-expression. Leo also rules over kids or children, right? Um, as the fifth house, which is what a Leo house, it kind of deals with uh, children as well too. So you guys could do well working with children as well too. Politicians can be uh, under the energy of Leo as well too. Politics, um, any form of speculation, gambling, which I don't necessarily advise, but well, I wouldn't, you know, me personally, but yeah, you know, um, and all that falls under, you know, the house Leo energy, basically, right? Again, also to look in the house that could show more, basically, in terms of um, ideal ways you can make money, or that the ideal wife, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'll link this video I did on um, the keywords that are associated with each uh, zodiac sign, and what you can do is. Uh, for the men out there, the fellas, you basically can look at the house that your Venus sign is in. That's going to correlate with a certain zodiac sign. So, for instance, if your excuse me, if your Venus sign is in the first house, this is the Aries house, right? So, your the ideal woman that you'll need will have Leo slash Aries qualities. If it's in the second house, they'll have Leo slash Taurus qualities because that's a Taurus house. Third will be Gemini qualities, so that'll be Leo slash Gemini qualities for the third house. Fourth would be Cancer. Fifth is Leo. Double down on the Leo energy. Uh, sixth is Virgo. Seventh is Libra. Eighth would be uh, Scorpio. Ninth is Sagittarius. Tenth is Capricorn. Eleventh would basically be Aquarius. And twelfth would be Pisces, right? So compare these qualities. Again, I'll link the video. And um, just in terms of qualities, I stated some of these earlier. But you you need a woman who has, um, who's charismatic. Who could be someone who's bold. Someone who's... Um, kind of out there, basically not boring. Um, again, generous, warm. You know, these are the things in terms of the um, what you naturally be drawn to. You may actually like someone who is very artistic as well too, and into the arts, into um, entertainment as well. Since this is kind of like your energy too, you know, and how you relate to others. You can attract even like um, celebrities or just well-known people, very popular. Since again, that's kind of with the Leo energy. Um, deals with basically right um i stated before for strengths and blessings if you have a nighttime chart you could look in the house that it's in it will show where you may be prone to having um blessings so that's one thing you could look at and um i think that's pretty much it you know very short and simple um i hope this video was enlightening for you yeah you know also you could look in the house in terms of the zodiac signs too um i meant to say besides the leo energy Look at the house that your Venus is in, right? And that could be another way that you can make money too in terms of what zodiac sign. I did a video on occupations that correspond with your zodiac sign. You can look at that video in terms of the house and that would be a way that you see basically, you know what I mean? Other possible ways of making money, right? So y'all have a good one. I appreciate y'all. Peace.